Hello, I am Dr. Vaseem Sheikh. Today, we will be discussing about crystal defects or imperfection in solids. And specifically, we will talk about point defects and interstitial atom. So, let us begin. Crystal defects or imperfection in solids. So, there is no such thing as a perfect crystal. Whenever the material is solidified from a liquid to a solid state, there are lot of defects which develop in the material. And these defects develop automatically. It is the process, inherently in the process, we find that lot of defects are produced. And basically, we cannot do anything about these defects. Even you take any pure material, it will have some defect or the other. So, there is no such thing as a perfect crystal. Defects are bound to be there in the material. So, you can't get rid of them. And these defects are sometimes, basically, you know, we, from our choice, we put such defect in the material. And idealized solid does not exist. All contain some type of defects or imperfection. So, what are these imperfections and why are they important? So, as I said earlier, some defects are already there in the material and without these defects, some property of the material cannot be realized. So, they are there in the material and sometimes we purposely put such defects in the material and we get very important properties of the material which we see in the upcoming slides. So, many of the important properties of the material are due to the presence of these imperfections which are there or the defects which are there in the material. So many properties of the material are sensitive to the deviation from the crystal perfection. The influence is not always adverse and often specific characteristics are deliberately fashioned by us so that we get certain type of property and some control amounts of defects we can put in the material so that we get certain property and certain applications out of the material. So, a crystal defect refers to a lattice irregularity. So, the material when it has a crystal structure as we have seen earlier like BCC, FCC, everything seems to be perfect. But, you know, in actuality it is not the case. So, there are some things which are there which are missing in the atom or some foreign bodies which are there in the material and these are mainly at an atomic diameter or at an atomic level so their dimensions are basically at an atomic level only then we call them as a crystal defect so as i said some of the properties of these materials are profoundly influenced by the presence of these imperfections which are there so it is very important to have a knowledge about these all defects and imperfection that exist and the roles they play affecting the property or the behavior of the material. So, for example, let us take one example of an imperfection which basically we try to put in the material. So, we want these imperfections to be there in the material to get certain property and this is called as alloying. So, one type of defect. So, when we alloy any material and when we put some imperfections or some impurity atom in the material, specifically to get certain properties out of the material, that is called as alloying. And as an example, here we can see that brass is basically 70% copper and 30% zinc. And the properties of brass are much more better in terms of hardness and strength as compared to pure copper. So, that means we are putting some impurity atoms in pure copper. So, basically we are adding some zinc in that and then we are getting good properties. So, pure copper is not as hard and as strong as brass. So, we are adding some impurity atom and we are getting the property of enhanced hardness and strength. So, that is one thing. So, alloying is nothing but we are adding impurity atom in the material and it is sort of an imperfection and by that we can modify some of the mechanical property of the material. So here we can see also you know ICs which are there which are used in computers, calculators and home appliances where we are putting some sort of impurity which is highly controlled and it has certain amount of concentration 
and that makes the material a semiconducting material and it has lot of properties. So again here we are doping the material which is nothing but we are adding some impurity atoms to get certain benefit out of the material. So again that is nothing but adding some imperfections to the material. So now let us see what are the different types of point defects. So let us start with the first one. So vacancy atom is the first point defect then we will be talking about interstitial atom specifically self interstitial atom and the third one is solid solution. So in today's lecture we will be only dealing with vacancy atom and self interstitial atom and the next video which will be uploaded will contain the information regarding solid solutions. So let us start with vacancy atom. So vacancy, so vacancy is nothing but in a normal crystal structure in a unit cell a site or an atom is missing from its position and then that site is vacant so that is the meaning of vacancy that that particular site is vacant so here in this image we see a normal structure of a material all atoms are located in proper places then from a regular site an atom is missing from that regular site so on the left hand side you see that because of that when the atom is missing from that particular side it creates certain distortion in the material and all the atoms which are near to the vacant side will exert some sort of stress or some tension is generated in that area. So on the left side you see a schematic image, on the right side you see an actual micrograph of a material which shows a vacant site. So one normally occupied but from which an atom is missing is called as a vacancy in a material and vacancy you can't avoid vacancy in a material during the process of solidification when the material is solidifying all the atoms will not sit at its position some of these these sides and atoms will be you know going in different different sides and positions and they will not be in their normal position and they will be missing from their normal regular site of crystal structure. So all crystalline solids they contain vacancy and in fact it is not possible to create any material without any vacancies or without any such defects. So we can't control them. Next is self interstitial. So now let us see what is a self interstitial. So in the below seen diagram here you can see that we have a normal crystal structure and of course there are some vacant sites in the material. So in an earlier video we have seen that atomic packing factor of VCC, FCC and HCP structure and there we have seen that 100% of the site is not filled. There will always be some gap in the material. So now so that gap is there. So maybe an atom which is missing from somewhere goes into an interstitial site, goes into this, this area where these gaps are existing and it will create some sort of tension and distortion and normal structure is getting disoriented and mismanaged and it is creating some sort of stress, localized stress in that particular area. So a self interstitial is an atom from the crystal that is crowded into an interstitial site, a small void or space that is there uh, under ordinary circumstances which is not occupied and that gap is there. So an atom which is smaller or bigger you can you just put that uh, you know by, by some alloying method or normally you know the atom from the own structure it goes and sits into that particular site and it creates a distortion. This is called as self interstitial. Now in metal a self interstitial uh, introduces large distortion as we have seen here and the lattice is substantially larger and it is going into that interstitial position which is there and it will create lot of distortion. So this is the self interstitial atom which you are seeing in the figure here. So formation of this defect is not highly probable. So interstitial atom like self interstitial atom the formation probability is not too high but the formation probability of vacancy is very high as compared to self interstitial atoms. So now let us see how we can calculate the equilibrium concentration of point defects. So point defects can be calculated and there is a formula for calculating the point defect. Let us see what is that formula. 
so you can memorize that particular formula so you know and the formation of these vacancies the, these happens because of thermodynamics and you can't control the randomness and disorderness in the lattice and it will go on forming point defects because of the thermodynamic effect and here is the formula for finding out the equilibrium concentration of vacancy so here let us see nv over n here nv is the number of defects which we have in particular structure and number of potential defect sites or number of atomic sites which are there is n then is equal to exponential minus qv kt here qv is nothing but the activation energy which is there for the formation of vacancy k is the boltzmann constant and t is the temperature so when we have all this information we can basically find the number of potential defect sites which are there in an in an atomic site so the number of potential defects sites or number of atomic defects which are there in particular site of the atom so this is the formula for that now let us summarize what we have studied so we have talked about point defect in point defect we have talked about vacancy and vacancy is nothing but a normal site is there of a crystal structure and one particular site is empty the atom is not there and you have a vacant site then second we talked about self interstitial atom that the same atom of the same crystal structure goes into an interstitial site it creates a distortion and then the material has lot of stress localized stress in that particular area and we have also talked about that sometimes we deliberately put such type of point defects or such type of imperfection in the material to get specific property like alloying and doping so i hope you like the video and if you want to see such videos you can subscribe to my channel and you can like this video share it with your friends thanks for watching all the best